Hello once again to all my respected colleagues today I am uh, uploading this video just to explain you how we can conduct online test for uh, each and every classes and for each and every subject okay through an app which is there in the play store we just have to install that app okay the name of that app is Google classroom I hope you all have heard okay now <clears throat> after installing that app we have to register ourselves okay by using the email ID which is the, which is used in the Play Store. All right. So the email ID. If you don't know your email ID, what you have to do is just go to Play Store, and there in the settings, you will find your email ID. Okay. So we have to use that email ID while registering in Google Classroom. Okay. Now after <coughs> registering ourselves in the Google Classroom, we just have to collect the email IDs of each and every students in the WhatsApp groups. Okay. We all have formed the WhatsApp groups. So in that WhatsApp group, we have to collect the email IDs of each and every students. Now after <coughs> collecting the email ID of each and every students, what we have to do, we just have to copy each and every email ID from that WhatsApp group and paste it in the Google Classroom app so that each and every students could be assigned with their class test. Okay, so it's very, very simple. At first, we have to register ourselves in Google Classroom. After that, we have to collect the email IDs. Okay. After collecting the email ID, we just have to copy that email ID and paste it in the Google Classroom in the People section. I'll be showing you that in the uh, this one in the tutorial method. Okay. So for that, <coughs> we just have to install the Google Classroom app from the Play Store. Okay. So the next part I'll be showing you in tutorial method. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So now this is the second part of the video. Now after installing the Google Classroom and registering ourselves, we can see there the app is being highlighted. Now just click on there, just click on there and you can see that I have been using this uh, Google Classroom app and I have already assigned uh, 3 to 4 <coughs> class test of class 8B. You can see there, we can we can assign it okay and we can easily come to know how many students are being assigned we can see there the first one 37 students are being uh, assigned and 34 students have submitted till now okay and even the date of submission also is being displayed here okay so it's very simple what we have to do what is to be done we just have to <coughs> we just have to create the class okay we have to create the class for creating the class, we have to click on plus sign. Just click on plus sign and then click on create class. Can you see there at the top right corner? Just after join class, there is an option as create class. Just click on there. And then we have to check this box and then click on continue. Just click on continue. And then type the name of the class. For example, if you want to conduct class test on class 8B, or class 5b just click on class uh, just type class 5b okay now for the time being i am uh, typing as class 9 as class 9 okay and section let it be <coughs> a section a okay and subject i teach in class 9 is computer science so let me write there as computer science okay after that we have to click on create just click on create okay so we'll be creating the class now in few moments in few moments the class will be created <coughs> it's taking some time due to some network problem yes now the class has been created now you can see here after the class has been created now we can see some of the options over here you can see there's share with your class here at the top here in this part we have share with your class now there we can announce something to your class okay about any class test or any kind of uh, homeworks or uh, if you want to let the students know about some of the topics to be done in future so we can use the option just click on there and just type there whatever you want to say for example here I want to type today uh, students today will be having we will be conducting 
conducting class test on chapter 4 like that in that way we can just announce it to all the students just click on the <coughs> at the top you can see one send button is there just click on there can you see one arrow button is there no this arrow just click on this arrow and then your message will be sent it will be announced okay so <coughs> now <coughs> let me uh, close this because we don't need to do this right now okay at first what we have to do to make this visible to all the students we have to create the students isn't it we have to create the list of students so now for creating the students what we have to do we just have to click on people can you see there at the bottom right corner there is an option as people just click on that people option we'll click on that people option now after clicking on people option here we have one uh, section as students can you see here students now we have to go on pasting the email IDs which I already told we have to ask all the students to send their email IDs in the WhatsApp groups okay so we have to copy the email address and then we have to paste it in this so that we have <coughs> we can assign this homework or class test to each and every students okay so now <coughs> uh, for adding the students what we have to do we just have to go to the WhatsApp group once again okay let us go to WhatsApp group let us go to WhatsApp group for that we need to open the WhatsApp let me open my WhatsApp okay so let me go to class 9 group and then we can see here many students have sent their email addresses many students have sent their email addresses so I'll be copying the email addresses okay so now <clears throat> let me copy one of the email address Nupur has sent me the email address here we can see here Nupur has sent the email address okay just ask the students please uh, tell the students to send their email address only no need to send uh, email address along with their uh, name and whatever just like here no I'm showing you here here Rocktim Lochan Dotto and he has sent his name also class also roll number also all these things are not required okay they just have to send the email address just like Nupur has done okay is it clear no <coughs> now 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 we'll copy it okay let me show you how to copy it just click on that message for a while just press it for a while and then okay let me close this yeah just click on that message for a while and then can you see at the top at the top there is some one option as copy we all know okay we have been using whatsapp so with there we have to click there we have to click and then you will be displayed message is being copied now we'll be going to that group once again just go to that group click on students can you see there there is one uh, uh, option here this one add students just click on there okay we just have to click on there just click on there and paste and paste the email id just paste it okay and after pasting it we can see here <clears throat> just below that add recipient is given just click on there okay just click on there and then your email id will be pasted okay i'm showing you one more now <clears throat> We'll send, send uh, we'll uh, say one more. Can you see here? Deposit Soikya. Deposit Soikya has also sent his email address. Okay, in this way they have to send. It. Okay, now <clears throat> let me show you once again how to copy it. Just click, press on that message for a while and then click on the copy button from the top and then go to Google Classroom once again. Just click on that, the, on the place where the cursor is blinking, just paste it okay paste it and then after that just below add recipient is being shown just click on there and then your email address will be pasted okay in that way we can add the email id of each and every students but they have to send their email id only in the whatsapp group okay so i'm repeating once again just ask the students to send their email id no need to send their names or class or section okay just they have to type the email address email id and send in the respective groups okay then it will be very easy for us otherwise let me show you if they send their names what will be our problem uh, <clears throat> let me show you if, if i show you here nupur nandini bora we can see here no what problem we will face let me show you nupur nandini bora they she have sent her name also her class also as well as her <coughs> uh, this one her uh, email address also so 
now here what problem we will face let me show you we just have to click on it okay and when you press copy okay and go to google classroom when you paste it when you paste it can you see that some unwanted part are also there some unwanted part are also there can you see the class comma no purnandini vara all these are unwanted so for that we have to delete we have to cut all this and then you will see the ad recipient will come okay just click on there and then you will see that that particular email id will be pasted okay so you ask the students to <coughs> send their email id only in the whatsapp group okay because we have already saved their names in the whatsapp group so we will come to know whether that particular student is from that section or not okay all right so now after creating the email id okay after creating the list of students to be invited for that class we have to click on the invite button can you see there one invite option is there at the top right corner here this invite button we have to click on there okay so we'll be clicking there when you click on there when you click on there after typing each and every students your <coughs> students okay your students list are being created can you see that all the students email address are being displayed over there three students i have added for now so three students are being <coughs> displayed in that list in that screen okay now <coughs> if you get more students then just we have to click on this option we have to click on this option this option okay just click on this option and then do as app to okay just click on there again i'm showing you once more let's go to whatsapp group once again let's go to whatsapp group and then we'll be copying the email id of luku bhuya just click on luku bhuya press on copy and then go to email address just click on there paste it and then add recipient then go to invite and you will see that four students will be added previously there were three students now you can see there bhageshri bhuya is also pasted here at the top she is also there in the list of students of that section okay so in this way we have to go on doing so <coughs> tomorrow or maybe now you just message all the students to send their email id okay working email id they should know their email id if they don't know just ask them to see in the play store and then they will find their email id okay so we'll be doing this part only for tomorrow because we'll be registering their names in that respective class okay after that what we have to inform them we just have to inform them to install google classroom and they also they also have to register they also have to register themselves in google classroom by using the email id from their play store yeah i hope all my uh, <coughs> respected colleagues have understood the video okay if you have any problem you can just uh, call me or you can uh, message me in whatsapp okay i'll be showing you i'll be helping you in registering and also in adding the students okay thank you good night